A rock falls from a cliff 55 meters high. Assume that downwards is positive. How long does it take the rock to fall to the ground? So let's again draw our little picture here on the side. There we have a rock that is falling from a cliff that is 55 meters high. Okay, That is obviously our change in displacement. We know that the initial velocity of any falling object is equal to zero and we also know that acceleration will always be a constant 9.8 meters per second for any uh, per second squared sorry for any falling object how long does it take the rock to fall to the ground in other words that's the first question that we're asked is to find delta t okay so we need an equation that has initial velocity change in displacement acceleration and change in time uh, here we have initial velocity is not in here initial velocity future velocity we don't have uh, future velocity we don't have okay here's displacement change in time initial velocity and acceleration so this seems to be the correct equation to use so now that we know what equation to use let's go and substitute into our formula so change in displacement is equal to initial velocity times time plus a half acceleration times delta t squared substituting in here everything that we do know we know that the change in displacement is 55 meters we know that initial velocity is equal to zero so this whole term will actually vanish because we're multiplying with zero plus a half acceleration is 9,8 and change in displacement squared. All we need to do now is to solve for delta t. First of all, we notice that this will just completely vanish. And therefore, all we, are ha we have left is 55 is equal to a half times 9.8. I can actually do that's 4,9 times delta t squared so all i need to do is divide both sides with a 4 comma 9 well that's my first step 4 comma 9 and what do i get i get that delta t squared is equal to to the calculator 55 divided by 4.9 answer 11 comma 2 2 four four eight nine okay i'm just going to write it as eleven comma two two four four eight nine rather don't yet round off your answer so what we're going to do next is take the square root on both sides so we're going to take a square root on the left and a square root on the right to get delta t without its square so on the right hand side we now have one one comma two 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 inside a square root so we're taking the square root of this answer which gives us 3.35 and you see I didn't round here so I try and keep it um, as accurate as possible and I find my answer that it's after three comma three five seconds that's the duration of this thing's journey so let's input our answers First of all, we have the input here, stock taking. We do not know the average velocity. We know the initial velocity is zero. We don't know final velocity. We know that the change in displacement is going to be 55 meters. Since he's falling down, that 55 meters is positive because we assume that downwards is positive. The change in displace, uh, in time, that's what we calculated, but that's not for the stock taking step. That's our answer. 9.8 is our acceleration now ignoring deltas we are going to use our formula that we have here but in this formula we are also going to substitute the values that are known we know delta x for example so that's going to be 55 is equal we know that velocity is zero times time plus a half times acceleration is 9.8 multiplied by time squared preview 
and that looks correct for my substitution step, this step. So next up is to solve, to get the answer and that answer we found was that time is equal to 3.35 seconds, don't forget your unit. Preview just to make sure syntax is okay. Perfect.